Just as you can pass values to functions, you can also return values from functions. So let's take a look at this now. I've got a blank project here. I'm going into the project global functions area and I'll just declare a function. Let's call it average and let's do something with some numbers since we've only worked with strings so far. So I'm going to go ahead and name these variables and this is going to be for the six values which get passed to this script or to this function rather and I'm going to name them A, B, C, D, E, and F. Alright, let's go ahead and do some math on this. So let's say total equals and then inside brackets I'm going to say A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F and outside the brackets divided by 6. Okay, put in a semicolon and then we'll just simply tell our function to return the value total. It's very simple. We want to return a value so we use the word return. Return total. Press OK. And let's go ahead and call this function. Now what we need to do is assign this particular value to a variable. So let's say result equals and then we'll call our function. So our function is called average and we need to pass six values to it. Let's pass six random numbers here. I'm just going to type them in from my keypad. There we go. There's six numbers. And then we'll go ahead and display the result in a dialog message box. <coughs> okay, there we go. Result variable. And I'm going to go ahead and preview the project by pressing F5. And as you can see here, it's returned the value. So we've managed to pass a bunch of values, six of them, to our function. And then the function has returned a value to our application. So in this particular case, it's the average of our six numbers, 293. Now, just as with passing values, you can pass more than, or you can return, rather, more than one value. It's not just one value you can return. You can pass as many values as you want, and you can also return as many as you want. So let's go ahead and look at how we would do that. Let's modify our function first. All right, let's go ahead and take the divided by six portion out of the total equation here. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable called answer, or yeah, answer is a good name, and then that will equal total over six. Okay, now let's go ahead and return both of these values. So I'm going to return the total and then the average, which is named answer. Okay, so we've got two variables and we're returning them by simply inserting a comma in between them. Return total, comma, answer. Let's press OK and now let's modify our function call. Now, before we had result equals, and then we had the uh, average function we called with our six numeric values here. Now what we need to do is name the second variable. So in this particular case, we've got the result, and that's going to correspond to the average. Now let's add a new variable called total, and we'll put in a comma there. So just as we added a comma and the new variable name where we were returning the value, that's the same thing we do where we're calling the function. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that to our dialog message box. We'll add that as the title and then we're going to go ahead and run our function again. We'll press F5 to preview our project. And as you can see here it gives us the total in the title bar and the average here inside the dialog message box. So we've successfully returned two separate values from our function. Now this is a very simple example and I've done this specifically to illustrate uh, this functionality in a obstruction free environment if you like but you can extrapolate this to extremely complex functions and you can even um, you know create advanced functionality between different functions by passing uh, a variety of values to and from multiple functions so the sky's the limit with returning values from functions you can return as many as you need and you can also pass as many as you need so let's take a look at the next video tutorial